brain is as massive as yeah. blocking everything. Oh, and it could blow at any minute. And did you know there's enough gas up there, right, to wipe out the entire universe? And they say it's got the biggest black hole ever seen. Okay. Huh? And just to think, it all started with little molecules floating around in space until they all coalesced together and formed a protostar. Now this protostar began to take in gas, loads of gas, and became a very hot burning ball called a Tatori. And then, when it couldn't take in more gas, with pressure like nuclear fusion, the core was born. That sounds very uncomfortable. Have you seen a doctor? Doctor? No. But I can't see Orion's belt though. Do you want to have a look? No. I need to go to the toilet. No, no, that's alright. I'll just uh, stay in here and just look at the stars if you don't mind. Yeah, sometimes, you know. I wonder. You're on a different planet. Well, sometimes I wish I was on a different planet. <laughs> something off her washing line, but just happened to be her panties, and nothing more. <laughs> Try explaining that one to the judge. I did? <laughs> I think I should go after. Why? Was one slap not enough for you? No, I want to explain my side of the story. I'll never get anywhere with the weaker sex if I don't try. <laughs> we got sex? We got sex? I think she's one of them transvestites. She had a canny right hook on her. Well, I'm just going to have a look at her right hook. Uh, well, when Peter Pan there turns out to be Tinkerbell, you'll end up as a lost boy, yeah? And you know what happens to them, don't you? What, 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 what happens to them? You'll be poncing about on stage like one of those lady boys of Bangkok. Oh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. What is this? It's, it's uh, like one of them old star revivals. Ursa Major or Ursa Landres. Can it quite make me mind? I'm going to have another look. Excuse me. Hey, uh, I need your help. I, uh, I look for Adam. Well, I am Adam. Ah, oui. But Luke has just went to spend a penny. Who is Luke? And what is his money? Penny? I am money. I come all the way from Saint Tropez. <laughs> you can't fool me. You're too pale to be from France. I come from the constellation of Pisces. That's just what it looks fun for. <laughs> ah, stop this nonsense. I need your help. Your knowledge of the stars is required. Your writing of astronomy and physics it shows beyond doubt that you have a great understanding. I you read your theory of the Big Bang? <coughs> hey. After its initial appearance, it apparently inflated, expanded, and cooled, going from very, very small and very, very hot to the size and temperature of our current universe. And we live inside it. Amazing creatures, living on an incredible planet, circling a beautiful star. A star that is not alone. A star that is clustered together with thousands of billions of other stars, all soaring through our galaxy. <coughs> and all of this is happening within our universe. A universe that began with the infinitesimal singularity, which, which appeared out of nowhere for reasons unknown. And that, my little French friend, is the Big Bang Theory. Oui. Oui. I prefer the uh, imaginary balloon popping version of the black holes, which never mind. Your uh, beautiful star to spare is in danger of going bang again. What? What do you mean? Have you heard of the uh, Professor Impressor? He was my father's friend, mm -hmm. his partner. 
This is going to change the world. Well, if this ever gets out, it will all be over. All right, what do you see? The way it matches. Ratchet! Ratchet! Come here, you stupid little man. <laughs> Hello, Ratchet. Do you know if my son has a friend yet? He's in the observatory, sir. He's got his little friend with him. So I thought it'd be best you wait for you up there. You know how he likes to watch the stars. Like father, like slab. Yes, I can see he's going to follow in his father's footsteps. Enough chitter. We have to find a way to keep this from the government. No, they must be told if our people have this, they can be sure there is an end to wars, an end to pain and suffering, an end to famine, no more recession, fuel and food for everyone, free re-prescriptions and dentistry. Oh, you fool! What if the government never made people equal? It would mean the rich get richer while the poor are sober. side of the opposite sex. <laughs> what do you mean is the right side? <laughs> no. Not for you, there's not. I just want to see what's written in the stars. I mean, I saw... What's written for me in the stars? Look, hold on a minute. What's written for me in the stars? Today you will meet a beautiful woman who requires your help. I rebuilt the prototype because I never thought I would be able to access the dark matter accelerator after I unlocked it through with a key to 20 years ago. I thought it would take another 20 years of my life, but things are about to change. But, but you've tried for donkey's years to pick the lock. Let's just see this little experiment with my four-back pad. We're fishing and this is the bait. But why bother? This is just a little partial eclipse. Why do you think we build a laboratory in the Pacific? Hmm. <coughs> I did wonder why we live on an island in the middle of nowhere. On the island, the shadows, Ratchet. <laughs> Too many dark days for my liking. Lots of eclipse, Ratchet. We're 20 years of dark matter stored here, just waiting to be released. All we do is hold the little fishy. Well, shouldn't we be standing next to a pond or a river or something? 
This is it, Ratchet. This is the exact spot. This is the inverted centre. But what we need to do is we two hours for the sun to come up and then we can capture the darkness. Sir, I don't think I can wait that long. Oh. I need to go to the toilet. You fool, you should have went before we come out. I promise you it's in the post. <laughs> Where have she told you? It's a lie. She hit me first. <laughs> I know my rights. You can't keep me here without my lawyer. I claim the fifth commandment! It's the fifth <laughs> amendment, <laughs> fool. Name! Oh. Name! What? Luke lost. What? Luke lost. Sir. What are you on about, man? Of course you're not lost. You are lost. Sir? Uh, I thought you said he was Adam Ant. Oh, I am Adam Ant. I am Luke Lost. <laughs> Don't get smart with me, son. Where's answer the question? Where's Honey? Um, is, it, is this a trap? What? Oh. Well, what are you talking about? What, what, what girl? We saw Adam with a girl wearing a miniskirt. You saw Adam wearing a miniskirt? <laughs> the girl! Oh! She doesn't sound much like Adam's type, though. Is it, she, she must have strayed out of the big market. You know, lots of hair, short skirt, lots of makeup. And a knife at the hip. Oh, no one will be grabbing her bomb tonight. <laughs> she doesn't sound much like Adam's type, like I said. I mean, she, he usually goes for the more brainy last, but it's strange. He didn't mention it. So he was keeping her secret. Well, he's not doing a pretty good job. You don't know about it, does he? Mm. We knew we should contact him eventually. It was just a matter of time. But you not knew about it. I, I just don't understand. We're here to help. Oh, silly me. We are delayed. Delayed with the latest test results. Test show it to fire a flame up to 100 yards and finish off a rice pump without any problems. Look, what are you doing here, man? We were supposed to go for breakfast and you left me standing. Oh, I got caught up with Mr. Pitt and his bunch of watercolours here. And before you know it, we're painting by numbers. <laughs> hey, what's this about you and a girl in a mini skirt? Yes, I was going to tell you over breakfast. And yeah. um, aren't you going to introduce me? Adam, this is why. Why? Please to meet you. No, why? Why? <laughs> well, it was going to be Q, but Q's out in the field. Why the field? Uh, no, no, I, why is he out? Q's in the field. This is why. Please to meet you. P. No. Why? <laughs> no. I need to pee. Too much tea. Will you excuse me? Look, I'm tired I'm, now. Come on, come on, quick. I'll tighten it. Ah! <sighs> I tell you why I filled you in on the problem and why your assistance is required. Yes. Can you tell me what, what honey is? Isn't it a sweet, sticky substance made by bees? No, no, no. Who is honey? We suspect she may be a double agent. She isn't one of ours. We think she may be a decoy bird. Duck. <laughs> decoy duck, sir. As I was saying, we're not sure where she fits in yet. She's French. <coughs> what is it you want me to do? We want you to file Professor O'Cressor's plans. Just as he is about to reverse time, we want you to dash in, find the missing component, reset t time, destroy the machine, and save the girl. D do you think you can do this without your friend throwing a spanner in the works? Oh, he's not that good at work with tools. I know. We're having trouble getting him to comprehend. Look, don't you worry about Luke, all right? I managed to keep him in the 
dark. He won't know a thing. Yes, I think you're already halfway there. I think the batteries went out on that torch a long time ago. <laughs> anyway, your mission, should you choose to accept it... Mission impossible. I'm beginning to think it will be. Will be codenamed Northern Skies. Northern Skies? Mm -hmm. Will I get a gun? Yes. Damn tricky things, though. One could shoot oneself in the foot if one was not careful. So, will I be working for the government? Yes. Can I claim expenses? Shh. That's top secret. So, is the Prime Minister supporting this mission? Yes, I know. I know they say two heads are better than one, but in this case, we appear to have a bit of a problem. Can I ask you a question? Deputy Prime Minister, can you give us any information about the draft legislation for the finance bill that will be introduced to Parliament in the autumn? We can't get the insulation looked at, but it's time the draft was sorted out. It gets very cold at night, doesn't it, David? Yeah. We have to put extra water bottles in and snuggle up real close. <coughs> I don't think that's the draft she's referring to. <coughs> well, we are in complete agreement that this is something that needs to be addressed, aren't we? No. Aren't we? Yes, darling? <laughs> yes, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it true, Deputy Prime Minister, that you said your coalition with the Conservatives is radical in a sort of reassurance for the country? Uh, yes, but I didn't say which country. <laughs> oh. Can I ask you why? Just wondering that myself. Why? I may quote you here. You said you want to build a new economy from the rubble of the old, promote sustainable growth and enterprise, balance across all regions and industries, and promote the green industries that are so essential for our future. Yet you've done nothing. I meant every word. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. It's like a game of Monopoly. I will be buying Mayfair, Piccadilly, and Leicester Square, but leaving Waterloo. And I managed to get my hands on his old Kent Road. But we are still wondering what to do with the fourth plinth in Trafalgar Square. Do you still believe the coalition government is going to solve the problems we are facing today? As our parties have worked together, it has become increasingly clear to us that although there are differences, there is also common ground. Common? I studied social anthropology at the University of Cambridge. Don't you dare call me common. Well, I studied philosophy, politics, and economics at Oxford, gaining a first class honours degree. So, that, if you can. Oh, don't drop that to me. My mother was right about you. <laughs> I will have to leave it there and head back to the studio. We're great. Breaking news stories hit the news line, seeing that the world may be in danger from a strange phenomenon. Over to you, Sally. How did they get to know all the news before we did? Oh no, we will have all the information. It will be on some civil servant's desk. We'll get in a couple of days, don't worry. True, true. Strange bad fellows, those two. Decent enough chaps, but not exactly a marriage made in heaven. Can I expect any support? If you fail, if anything goes wrong, we do not know you. You do not exist. Well, well, I will. Do you think you could tell them, please? Don't nibble my yard, man! Speak up! What's the problem? You appear to have lost Luke, sir. Don't you mean we appear to have Luke lost, sir? You just can't get the staff these days. We used to train them at the Catholic garrison. They use it as a Sunday market nowadays. We've got ourselves a bunch of barrel boys, if you ask me. What do you mean, you appear to have lost Luke? His legs were tied together, man. He could hardly walk. Guys, we don't need out sir. He's had him to go through a woodpecker, but he's got a pencil and tip. Damn, I thought she was still undercover. A pencil and tip, sir. It's a very rare bird. I'll say she is. Look, where is he now? Sorry, sir. We lost him. Find him! Now! Well, you're the expert. What in heaven's name is a lunar eclipse? <coughs> a lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth passes between the sun and the moon, <coughs> therefore preventing the sun's rays from striking the moon. Hence, there is always a full moon on the night of a lunar eclipse. Does this have any relevance to our problem? Yes. I think Professor Repressor's getting closer to world domination. <coughs> I've got to go and find Luke. Does he have the answers? No. He's scared of the dark. <laughs> Luke! Where you been, man? We've been looking everywhere for you, but they have. I've been counted again. Oh, now what? We need to get you some spy here. Why has all the latest spy here? 
idea. Well, a torch would be good. Oh, 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 I'm such a boss, I'm so glad this will be better. Oh. Anyone got any change for the meter? I'm thinking for our uh, hot that torch. I must be ready to recite everything and where the dog man will look me to its maximum force. Can I assist you in any way, sir? Spanner. It's ratchet, sir. Okay, get me a ratchet. Hurry! Spanner, I need that ratchet now. Good God, man, don't you know the difference between the spanner and the ratchet? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Oh, I'm confused, sir. Never mind, Spanner, you will learn. Oh, I do hope so, sir. Let's have a look in this prototype book. Uh, you, you, you're back. Oh, that's it, you're back. Um, you've just missed Spanner. Mm -hmm. Sir? Mm -hmm. What we got to do? Right, how does that machine work? Uh, Success, do you know what this will mean to us? <gasps> yes, sir! World supremacy, sir! World supremacy, that's what it will mean. I didn't think of that, sir. Oh, you never do, do you? <sighs> and what will we do with the world supremacy, sir? I don't know yet, but when I do, I'll be sure I'll let you know. Mm. Oh, sir. It's getting dark, sir. Have oh, you got a light, sir? Oh, don't you give me a smoke gun. I need a torch light, sir. Don't be stupid, you can't light your pipe with a torch. Yeah, think of that, sir. Can you hold this a minute? I'm losing visibility fast. It's getting dark, <laughs> sir! Of course it is, the moon is moving in the light and blocking out the sun. Do you know what that is called? Eh, uh, night time, sir? Are you falling in the eclipse? My plan is finally in motion. Now to see if the machine works. <laughs> Cutting edge. That's the button. You want something sharp? 
This little Swiss Army knife, when I can get me little fingers on it, oh. that's a knife. Lifesaver. Ah, be careful, you can hurt someone with that. Oh, hello. Oh. Is she a double O? Ah, charming young lady, one of our newest recruits. Very good if I say so myself. Oh, she's definitely got a license to thrill. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm first in line to stop her charms. Oh, yes, get in there. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> hey, you must be a double D7. Oh! <laughs> You, would you like to try your luck? No, no, I'm fine, I'll give you Be your neck. Hey, there was no need for that. I was already coming on the size of your <laughs> Oh, shoes. The, the shoes are very, very nice. Oh, right, just come along now. Let's not fight. Adam, this is Felicity. Felicity, this is Adam. I've defected from a shop with the Western style of shoes. I love shoes, me. Ah, oh, I the shaky hands. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Felicity, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, where do you fit in all of this? I have reached the ranks of 0036 C in under two years. Oh, you must be good. Good, very good. Very good head. Hmm? Up oh, and shoulders above the rest. She's a natural blowish. Ah! I'm blowing things up, and a navigational system uh, navigating in the dark is mind-blowing. Oh, she does have certain advantages to come here and see, oh man. <laughs> right, come along now. Satellite navigational system, very hush-hush. <laughs> You're joking, are you? Yeah, it's got one of them, man. Ah. Communications device, you can be in constant touch. Got one. Gentlemen, 
You must reproach a lady of the night on Ocean Road. When she stops starting, that is when you start stopping. Uh, that's a bit cryptic, isn't it? Tell her you're on Her Majesty's secret service. Right. Good luck, lads. What you geeks loving at? <laughs> oh, this is stupid. We're never going to find this clue here. Shh. I'm thinking. Why is she looking at me like that? Your fly's down. <laughs> we need help. You need help to pull your zip up. Pull your zip up, you look like you need to go to the toilet. To let you go without the information passing between us. Between us, we can crack the code. The code word is, rats live on no evil stars. You boys look like you need help. Need help? That depends. Depends. Now that's a swimming pool story in the making. Making this very hard, aren't you? Just look lost. Look lost, and I'm Adamant. Hmm. Adamant, I can show you things. Things you never knew could happen. Oh. I'm now 20 pounds. 20 pounds? 20 pounds oh. each, and that's quite reasonable under the circumstances. Uh, under the circumstances? I don't think that we have the time. Oh, we have the time. Oh, we don't have the money. We have standards. Standards are dropping as the years go by. By the way, all habits die hard. Hard to make a living these days. Days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months. Months, months turn into years, and I don't know the rest. The rest of you, someone is watching you by you. 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 You two can stop having the price right now. Right now isn't time to make fun of the English language. The English language? What are you on about? It's about the name of the road. You'll find a mystic. A mystic? Miss Tick is a fortune teller. A fortune teller? Well, tell us what? She's supposed to tell us. <laughs> tell us what? What? Ever, ever had your fortune told, boy? Mm. You look lost for words. Look lost for words? That'll be the day. The day I'm lost for words will be the day I lose the will to live. To live is what we mm. need to do. What's your last name, Luke? Luke lost. <laughs> Before you say it, no, I'm not lost. <laughs> not lost? Lost you look, Luke. Look here. Yeah. yeah, you look. There you look. Everywhere you look, Luke. Oh, uh, look, Luke. We haven't got time for this, man. We have to go and look. Look for what? What's going on? Just up my priest in the mush. You mustn't hang around. I'm going to be late. Be late for what? We do not have an appointment. An appointment for both of you? I was sent here to help you on your way. Uh, your way or no way? No way should be.